Um, but personally, there's one guy in general that I've watched over the years that I've stolen a lot of techniques from that I think to me is, I think he's the GOAT in jiu-jitsu of all time. It's uh, Marcelo Garcia. Mm. Uh, Not too many people would disagree with that. I think yeah. you know, Marcelo proved <laughs> I think through his accomplishments alone that he is definitely one of the greatest of all times. But yeah. what, what is it that's, that was special about, about him as opposed to you know some of the other accomplished guys out there? Uh, he's that guy who would, who would consistently chase the submission. You know, If you watch him, I don't know if he ever fought a match to not submit uh, his opponent. You know what I mean? I think every match in his mind was like, oh, i got to submit you. Right. And there was no really no points in front of him that were actually holding him back. And he, you can tell he was never like score and look up at the clock to see if he scored. You know what I mean? He was the guy who was like score and try to, you know, either grab your arm, grab your neck, and just keep chasing you until he tapped you, you know? You know, I watched a lot of him at uh, at ADCC, you know, firsthand, like up front, like front row and center, you know. So, I mean, um, yeah, I think he's, uh, you know, easily, you know, probably the best guy uh, of all time. I mean, if you look at his accomplishments and the, and his size, yeah. you know, and what he's done, you know, he's he's great, man. He's, yeah, he's not some 260-pound, you know, freight no. train, right? So. No, he's not. He's not a Bouchesha, you know what I mean? I, I love Bouchesha. He's my friend, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's hard to say all oh, Harger, Gracie, and Boucher are the best guys of all time. They have a huge advantage over guys like me. You know, like they're, they tower over us. You know right. what I mean? Plus, don't get me wrong; they have amazing jujitsu. Their their jujitsu is clean, technique is perfect. But we're talking about a guy who's small. You know, a guy who would go in absolutes. He's a guy who went in many absolutes. You know, I mean, he didn't win any of them, but he got to the podium several times. You know, in ADCC and uh, Worlds, if I'm not mistaken. So I. I Honestly, he, to me, he's uh, he's the goat, you know, and and he's still young, man. He's we're the same age. Me Even T's coming back to Kasai, right? We were all hoping uh, yeah. that might happen someday. So I mean, if they need a, if they need an opponent for him, keep me in mind. Oh, you know? that'd be that'd be <laughs> sick. Because he did listen, say that if he was going to come back, that he'd love to do it in New York, and that's like I'm Kasai's there. territory, right? You so. can put me in, sign me up. I'm Ooh, there. There you go. I, I like I said, I'm a huge fan, but I'm I'll be first in line to raise my hand if they if they call. For uh, for somebody to go against him, you just because make that one a show, just, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> just because of the respect factor. I I mean, I, I'm gonna fight him like I would fight, you know, anybody else. You know what I mean? But I I just feel like that's it, man. That's the the goat of jujitsu, and I get a chance at going out there and and proving that I'm in that in that same same four you know same line you know and that's a guy i know i think i know his jujitsu like the the palm of my hand like hours, i, like I know exactly tape. which direction he's going. <laughs> You know? I'm not sure there are many people in jiu-jitsu who have been studied more than Marcelo, right? He's, he was a reference point for so long, mm. like his techniques. It's true. Yeah, he puts himself out there. You know, you see mm. his, his MG in action and, and videos consistently. You know, he's Never he's been definitely, shy in sharing that, right? Nope. He's a guy who's just, you know, he's perfect for, for what we do. You know, he's a guy who's just shares, you know, and that's it's important.